So I have my crappy old uh, stone holder, uh, just made a 2x4 a couple of years ago, uh, but I've bought some new Nanohone stones, so I was thinking of making a new stage for them. The stage on their website is like 200 bucks, so uh, I was thinking about uh, making one out of some walnut that I had, an off cut, uh, that tore out. So I can use that as a stage. I have some of these brass screws that I bought for my helmet project. And uh, these have a little indent on the bottom that I can use as a uh, index point. So I can take an O-ring. I need to deepen this groove and uh, put this o-ring on here so that it'll slide in and out and be tight on the, on the stage there uh, but I'm just going to uh, joint this uh, piece of walnut first real quick on these two sides that way I can uh, plane it and cut it down to size uh, to uh, accept the stone. So I got these, uh, these are number five O-rings. Um, and they're just fairly smaller than this hole. It's about a couple, it's like three eighths of an inch in there, a uh, hole. And so this, I've gotten the brass down, so it's got a little bit of play in there. And, uh, but when you put the O-ring on, it's a little bit too big. So I'm going to chuck it up in the drill and uh, use this kind of oval file, or oval file and this uh, triangular file. Try and uh, dig the screw down a little bit more so that it'll sit deeper and it'll uh, sit in there real nice. So I've uh, filed these down enough so that the O-ring sits deep enough uh, so that it sits really tight in there. So it takes some effort to, to pull it out, which is fine. That's, I can always make it smaller if uh, need be. But it'll sit in there pretty darn tight. So even that one might, might need to be a little bit smaller. So I was thinking about using uh, some washers, or not washers, nuts. And uh, when I get to the final size of the wood, so I'm going to cut it down and uh, maybe make it a little wider and bevel the edges, I can push down leave some marks and that'll uh, give me some areas to uh, countersink and uh, put a, a epoxy a nut in there so that I can screw these uh, to that and if I ever need to change something I can unscrew it and uh, replace the o-rings or um, replace the nut whatever uh, I can get some stainless steel these are metric thread uh, I just happen to have these brass ones that I ordered for my bronze helmet. Uh, so I'm going to cut that down, probably about that wide where that line is. And uh, that way I can uh, bevel the edges on all the sides. But right now I'm going to plane it down a little bit and uh, make this top uh, surface uh, flat. I have this, these two uh, faces jointed. They're at a good 90 degree edge. Um, this surface I uh, need to bring down. And this surface, uh, this was a natural uh, check on the wood. 
So I'm going to uh, cut the front of this, leave this angle probably, uh, and just sand it down or plane it. Um, and uh, just be happy with that. And on the back side, I'll probably won't. Um, so it'll probably end up looking like this and with a uh, bevel on the edge, bevel on the two sides, and then just a, a straight back. But I'll have to cut off these in just a minute. I've got the piece of wood pretty much sized out and everything. Um, I've uh, I planed the edges just a little bit. Uh, I marked out where the holes will be. Now I just need to uh, um, get some uh, nuts that I can uh, epoxy in there and uh, screw that, or uh, mill that out so that I can actually put them in there. Uh, I think I'm going to make these just a hair deeper uh, for the O-rings. I think they're just a tiny bit too tight. Uh, just a hair. Uh, but that's the way uh, the stone is sitting on the piece of wood at the moment. And it's good, pretty centered. Uh, if not, I can always sand it down and make it look a little better. But what I'm going to do to finish it is uh, do uh, just a coat of epoxy uh, on all the sides, and uh, that will seal it. And uh, then I can put some, uh, some of those sticky feet on the bottom, and then it will be a nice stone stage and uh, hopefully look pretty nice so hopefully uh, the epoxy uh, kind of brings out the it's kind of like a clear coat uh, so it'll bring out the uh, the grain a lot more than what is uh, what it is right now it's kind of like oiling it but let me uh, go grab some uh, nuts and we'll be back. So here's the final product. I put some uh, of the sticky pads on it to help it from moving. There is a little bit of movement, but I uh, put some 
thread tape on that one and it tightened it up so the o-rings sit down it takes a little bit of effort to put it on but once it's on it's pretty darn stable and I use a bench hook in sharpening uh, so this piece of walnut will elevate it so it's over the end of the bench hook and I can use it quite well I also have these aluminum plates that I made before that have uh, different grit like sandpaper on them that uh, some of them I'm not going to use anymore uh, just because I have the stone now so I can take these off and you can see uh, this already had one of those on it but I can clean off the sticky and use some uh, like uh, carpet tape or something and stick that to the piece of aluminum that way I have a different grit I'll probably put the corset grit on top so I can use that and uh, all I have to do is go and mill out some uh, holes that are same distance apart as these so I can use this one just like that so let me go do that. <laughs> 